What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me today. I'm going to be talking to you about a new theme manager that I obviously cannot pronounce properly and we're going to see if it can deliver the final blow to Themely and get it off of our 3DS forever. Keep watching. I'll go ahead here and just read over the release a little bit. So the feature of the theme manager includes support for installing a single theme to your 3DS, support for installing up to 10 shuffle themes, support for previewing your themes before installing them, and support for installing boot splashes for Luma 3DS. Now down here it says features that weren't ready in time for the initial release but are coming soon. A lot of these are already checked off. You can see install BGM only. That is already a thing. In case you have a background music from one theme and you want to put it on another theme, you can go ahead and just install only the background music. There is also the ability to get QR codes and so you can scan the QR codes right from the theme manager. We're gonna be showing that off in a second and hopefully downloading some themes over from Theme Plaza. I will put a link to Theme Plaza and the official release here in the description. You can see pretty simply, all you have to do is put themes in your theme folder and splashes in your splashes folder, pretty much the same as Themely. I'm not gonna be going too far into the splashes stuff today. We'll do splash screens maybe in a different video. We'll head over to the release. This is the newest release, came out seven hours ago, and this is the QR code release. So you can see now you can press the R button and bring up the camera and scan a QR code. I haven't quite done it yet. This is gonna be my first look at the program with you guys. We're gonna be experiencing it together. So you can go ahead and get the 3DS X version if you want to run this from Homebrew. Use FBI to scan this QR code right here. This SMDH file, this is only to be paired with the 3DS X file. It's not really needed, but you could go ahead and throw it into your Homebrew folder as well. Go ahead and get one of these and I will meet you guys down on the 3DS. Real quick, the theme I'm gonna be using is from Theme Plaza and it's by Radnar8959 and it's a pretty cool little Umbreon theme. You can see if you hover over it, it'll give you a QR code. So we're gonna to try to scan this in a second here. So I will also put a link to this in the description just in case you like this theme and you wanted to get it yourself. Down here on the 3DS, I just used FBI to install it from the QR code, and here it is. I discovered how to say it. It's anemone. It's like a sea anemone. So I'm still, no matter if I say it a million times, I'm going to start screwing it up. So I'm just going to say it a few times. And let's go ahead and open it up. This is our first look at it. So you can see here we've opened up into Anemone and my Super Mario RPG theme by Weeblob from the last video is in here. This is currently, I guess, the only theme I have on my SD card. If you see right here, you can hit A to install themes, X to install only the background music, and Y will preview your theme, B will cue shuffle, and select will install shuffle theme. Okay, so we'll have to figure out what those mean a little bit more because I'm not too sure. And R will bring up our scan QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and hover over this Umbreon theme and then I'm gonna hit R on my 3DS and you guys are actually gonna be able to see my computer screen through NTR viewer. And here I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan this QR code. So there we go. It didn't really say that it was installing or anything, but you can see I now have an Umbreon theme. I'm gonna go ahead and press the Y button and preview it. And there it is. It looks just like the picture. That's pretty awesome. You can press the Y button to exit out of the preview. I'm gonna go ahead and hit A on it and see if I can install it. There we go, installing a single theme. I just wanna see what would happen if I went and hit select install shuffle theme. That didn't seem to do anything. I've pulled up another theme here, this Super Mario Sunshine theme. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. But I want to go ahead and scan another QR code. So I'm hitting an R. It's now popped up my camera. Hopefully it'll start installing. I think it's installing right now. And I'm going to try to get the shuffle working for the themes because it seems to be a little bit tricky and I want to show you guys how to do it properly. So as you can see, that one took a second to download, but it was definitely downloading. If it happens to freeze, it just seems like it, that's what it does when it's downloading. So I've now got the Super Mario Sunshine theme. I can hit the Y button and preview it real quick. 
hit Y again. And now if you want to shuffle your themes, pick the ones that you want to shuffle by pressing the B button on them. So I'll select all three of mine by pressing B. And now you need to press select on every single one of these themes. So I'm going to hit select on Super Mario. I'm going to hit select on Umbreon theme. And then last but not least, I'm going to hit select on Super Mario Sunshine. Now that all my themes have been installed, I can press the home button and exit out of Anemone. You can see here is my Umbreon theme. If I press the power button and then the home button, it should switch to a different theme in my shuffle. So there is my Super Mario RPG theme. Press power again and I'll hit home one more time and hopefully it will be my third theme. So there is my Super Mario Sunshine theme. Well guys, I think Anemone might be able to officially get Themely off of your 3DS. It seems to work pretty well. There is a couple little bugs just where it's downloading. It seems to freeze for a minute, but I mean, like I say, it's just downloading something in the background. It's not expected to keep running the camera while downloading. Although it would be nice if maybe some kind of little bar popped up and showed the download progress. Other than that, I don't really have too many complaints. We'll have to test out the splash screen function and see if we can shuffle some splash screens here in the future. That would be kind of cool to have a different one every time you turned on your 3DS without doing too much at all. I hope you guys can figure this out. If you have any questions, please go down to the comments and let me know. We already got another 100 subscribers. We're at 6,100, and by the time you see this, we'll probably be even higher. I'm gonna have my Q&A video coming out tomorrow, hopefully. Much love. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on the way out, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.